be able to offer our opening invocation? Yes, present. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, today is uh, March 6, 2023 at noon, and we have a business council emergency meeting. Now, I'd like to call that meeting to order and ask James if he would give us our opening invocation, please, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> no idea, Sadewaha. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your your loving mercy and grace that you bestow upon us as a people, Father. Lord, we're here to do the business of the Pawnee Nation, Father, as a whole. Lord, we um, thank you for being with us in the times that we make these decisions for our people, Father. Lord, I just thank you that your spirit leads, guides, and directs us into all truth, Father, Lord. And we just thank you that you are granting us uh, traveling mercies this day, Father. And we thank you for all the things you do for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for that, James. Um, with that, uh, uh, Mr. Secretary, would you call the roll, please, sir? Yes, sir. Walter Eckhoff. Dita Kuku. Jordan Canujo. He's excused. George Carter P. Oh, here. Oh. Go ahead. Carol, Carol Chapman. Here. Cynthia Butler. Here. What was that? Cynthia Butler. Here. Uh, Donna Hare. Itaku. Dean Evans. Here. Tammy Kimball. Here. Thank you, Council. We do have a quorum. And uh, Pres Vice President Canuho is excused. Hopefully he can join join in a little bit later. Um, <clears throat> so um, I'd like to um, uh, have looking for a motion to approve our agenda. I'll make a motion. This is Cynthia. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second. I'll second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Call for the vote, if you would, please, sir. Georgia Garda P. Yes. Carol Chapman. Yes. Cynthia Butler. Yes. Donna Heron. I hope. Gene Evans. Yes. Tim Kimball. Yes. Thank you, Council. We um, um, have our agenda with just one item, and, and that's new business. Approval of resolution 23 13 2023 comprehensive budgets. And who's going to present on that, please? Uh, I will. Thank you. This Thank you. Floor is here. I'm here. The, I'm here. Uh, yeah, okay, Carol. Um, uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, we. Uh, Went back to the table, you know, as we explained last time, the uh, there were some questions about several items on the budget before we could pass it. And uh, we last week um, it was uh, myself, Jennifer, uh, Laura May, Penny, James, uh, Angela and Brian, and we all went over the uh, budget made the changes, called each person, uh, assuring that all was corrected. And um, we came up with the final balance budget. It, it balanced out. And uh, that's what we're bringing forward today. Now, I can't talk about it because I can't see it. So I'll have to let Jennifer do it um, or James. But, uh, we wanted to go ahead and get it passed so it would be passed and not let it not let it drag on anymore because we had hoped to get it by our last deadline so um that that's what the purpose is today and uh i think that we did really good because um last year when harrison was here you don't have to pay but anyhow last year when uh harrison was here we we had we uh it was almost correct me if i'm wrong james it was almost close to 1.9 million we had to 
to uh, to uh, put in to get the ballast. And we got down to a fifteen hundred this year. So if we keep going like this, we'll be good when the funds are when the funds are uh, no longer available. To uh, so, to make that correction, it was not it wasn't fifteen hundred. Was one point five million. And, oh uh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just since it's being recorded, I want to make sure it stated correctly. Yes. That's all. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then, then I'll see? jump in and oh, I'm sorry. I'll go ahead, go James. Ahead. I'll jump in when it's time to go over the justifications. Yeah, I, I, the uh, what's on what's on there obviously is our revenues are projected and and estimated. There are some that are um, correct, and the ones that are projected are kind of an average over the over the years. Um, obviously, a lot of like a lot of our rentals of some of our um, tribal buildings. Some years are good. Some years they use it a lot. Some years they don't. But uh, if you run down, slide down to the bottom of what we have in revenues, it's that uh, the replacement of um, is going to be right. A little bit more. Oh, right there. oh, there it is. The revenue revenue replacement is for ARPA is going to be uh, one million five hundred thirty-two thousand five hundred seventy-four, which is actually down from last year, which was uh, one point seven five million, and so we're so that's where we stand on our revenue part. And then you obviously you know all the uh, federal funds. Are showed by, according to what you see, there's the uh, obviously the the federal's agencies that provide the grants and contracts that we have, and we just have that one state, which is a PSSF for thirty two thousand three hundred and ten dollars. Slide up a little bit more. So there's a total of federal funding. So there's the grand total showing that twelve million five hundred eighty six thousand and eighty eight dollars, which on our opposite side of the uh, for the budgets is is that same amount. So it is a balanced budget. And. We've. Uh, the ones that were in question, there was only four of them which was for finance and it was for IT and our. Um, everybody calls it the, the cattle program, but it's actually our our pandemic. Pandemic local cattle. Meat. Our delivery system, I should say, is what was the exact wording for that. Then we had the other one was uh, property. So I'll let Jennifer. Uh, have the floor. Thanks, James. So, yes, we did cuts. The cuts equaled 1.5 million. Um, that was the cuts that we took off from the approved 22 budget, um, 2022 budget. Those cuts were made from um, from these two things. We increased, we, we decreased the, the supply line items by 30 percent of all of the all the tribal budgets. Then, in comparing the 2022 and 23 tribal budget spending. We, we, we reviewed each budget's deficit and surplus, and according to that, we reduced and or eliminated travel or training line items, um, depending on if, if they had a, a large surplus in those line items from 2022. If they had a surplus, then we cut it down to what it was the year before. Or I'm um, talking with the with the division director, we um, we we eliminated um, another line item. But but all of these cuts were done, after, you know, speaking with the division directors. There were several programs like what James said that were in question of why their budgets um, one either increased um, or there was no cuts to it. So I'm going to go through that and let you know what that is. Can I share? My, I'm going to share my screen so everybody can see this. And I know I'm visual, so I like seeing things. I'm going to share. Does everybody see my screen? Yes. 
I do. Okay. So I'll just go through this real quick with everybody. Um, finance, um, we increased it. And the justification was because our paycom fees increased in this year by 5%. Also, the finance software that we use, its annual fees increased from 17000 annually to $15,270. Um, bank fees, our combined bank fees doubled this year from 22,000 to 44,000. We are looking to see if there's ways that we can change this. The main, the main um, bank that's causing issues is Bank of America. However, however, we have to be careful and seeing if we can uh, move to a different bank because we are working with them on our new USDA grants. You, um, Bank of America was the only bank that was willing to to do a grant deliverable for us, which was giving us a line of credit that we needed for um, our twenty five million dollar grant. So that's something that we're working with finance and Laura May. Not sure if we'll be able to get away from that or not, but we're looking into it. Um, also, the fourth thing is our IDC proposal increased from nine thousand dollars to twelve thousand. And then also the last thing in sal in, um, in finance was our salary line item went up because one of the staff members who um, works in accounts payable, we've taken them off of ARPA funding and in 2023, they're moving into the finance budget. Um, IT is decreased, even though it doesn't look like it, it, it it's decreased by $10,000 because like I said, we took 30% out of supplies. And um, one of the things that um, Pius and I have done is we've met with J.D. Young to let them know because you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you for all that you're doing with us. As you know, there's a four there's four phases in them taking care of Pawnee Nation. We are in now the last phase of that. And um, so as you can see this year, um, we're getting our new phone systems. In fact, this week we're getting them put in. Then the next phase is key badges for all of the doors. And I'm sorry, I'm key key badge fobs. That's going to be protection for all of our securities and all of our 36 buildings, as well as security cameras and um, and, and surveillance. That is the phase four that JD Young is doing for us. I shared with JD Dunn, I mean JD Young, that our budget's not going to remain like this. That this is something that we got from federal funding. So we need to start decreasing our budget with them. And they have agreed to do that. So one thing I asked them for was a itemized um, contract of everything they do for us, so that we can start eliminating things that 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 we have, but we're not that we're paying for, but yet it's not really relevant to us. They've been so great. They're like, absolutely, we'll sit down with you, and we will definitely start bringing that um, that bill down. So um, Pius and I are, are excited about that. Um, cattle program. Um, that has increased this year. The reason being is the high cost of hay and, and veterinary fees. We just can't get around that. Um, one thing I wanted to make sure that everybody knew is when I was talking with Jimmy and Sonny, they wanted to reiterate to PVC that the cattle program will not be a revenue based program. It will just be self sustaining. So, but they are right on track in that in 2024, it should be financially self-reliant and independent. Um, they're also look, looking into grants right now to make sure that that does happen. So they're trying really hard to be on track with that, and it seems to be. The last area of property, this is something that I have requested, and I, I begged and <laughs> I, I really tried to um, have that not be touched if we couldn't. Um, of course, it's up to PBC. If, if, if you need to cut that, then we'll do it. But um, I put some justifications of why. It's because they take care of all the lands in Oklahoma, Shilako, and Nebraska. They maintain 36 tribal buildings. They do all the lawn care maintenance, um, the funerals. They handle all of the property emergencies. The last two Christmases, the team hasn't had um, family, I mean, Christmas with their family because there's always a water break <laughs> in one of the buildings. Um, also, they're responsible for not just the leases for the nation's buildings, but also they're responsible for maintaining and sending information to finance to pay our taxes. So they do a lot with very few people. And um, then I just gave a short overview again of our 2022 budget, our proposed budget, the cuts that we made, which was 1.5, 
And then like um, James said, the revenue replacement funds is taking care of what we have left over, which is 1.5 million. Anybody have any questions? Is that all the revenue replacement funds um, left? So the, the, the remainder in there would be a little over um, half a million. Is that right, James? That's that's close to it. Miss Sammy, I see your hand raised. Yes, thank you very much, Jennifer. Um, relative to IT and the uh, $10,000 reduction in their budget, I just want to ensure that um, you and uh, Pius have your eye on on the uh, prize of uh, maintenance support. And uh, oftentimes, you know, that there's things that break and, and it requires uh, rewiring, a replacement of a server or what have you, and that all of those are in scope and that they're not going to be dead in the water when it comes time to, you know, replace or, or repair. That's the only thing. And I'm pretty sure we set that up to begin with, but I want to make sure that that is still in the contract, that scope yes. of work. Yes, thank you. And so, yes, and you're right that that's part of the contract we're paying for right now. So that's a different line item. So, so we're good. Thank you very much. You bet. But this is primarily capital that we're looking at. Yes. Thank you. So this is, uh, uh, I had a quick question on the revenue replacement. Uh, uh, how much did we have to use this year in order to achieve the balanced budget? I, uh, I as I understand it, there's 0. 0.5, a little over 0. 0.5 million left. How much did we have to use out of that pot of money to uh, come up with our balanced budget? Penny, would you happen to have that that uh, file open? I do not, James. Okay. The the clerk where it says one point five million, that's it's probably like one point five and like uh thirty nine thousand that we uh, our goal was to be the one point five. We ended up being a little bit just a tad bit over the thirty nine thousand. But let me get that exact number for you. Thank I you. believe for the 23, it was $1,532,574 was our revenue replacement funds to help balance the 2023 budgets. Okay, thank you. So, so basically, uh, uh, we're down to 0.5 million. And I, as I take it, that's sort of our cash reserve. Is that... Is that correct? Yeah, that's our, that would be our balance. And then, it, I mean, it's up to the business council to, I would say we have a lot, Laura May had a um, kind of a larger picture of what was left and what hadn't been spent and what, what has been allocated. We still, and I'm not sure if that's what we want to do, I know there's that 250,000, but however, I remember in the meeting that um, I think Vice President Canujo had mentioned that there may be some other projects that may be needing that. So those are just um, areas, if I remember correctly, from some of the council meetings prior. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess it's just it, it, it's just my concern, you know, that that um, of course I had always hoped that we could use that money in a strategic way, but I guess we needed to balance the budget, and um, I, I'm a, a bit worried. Uh, well, first I want to just congratulate everyone for getting this balanced budget. I know it was hard to do, so I commend everyone for their effort here. Um, uh, I guess I'm just a little bit concerned about the next fiscal year. <laughs> um, do you all have any uh, thoughts on that? How um, 
you know, we're not going to have, have as big a cushion to uh, balance it in the next year. Is that correct? That we is still, correct. Right. We still have our uh, remaining other funds. That's just what was left in revenue replacement. Okay. Okay, uh, folks, any other questions, comments? See, Ms. Ham Ms. Sammy's hand is raised. Okay, Sammy, floor's yours. Oh my gosh, I didn't take it down. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, folks, any other questions or comments? Hearing none, looking President, for a motion to approve. I'll make a motion. Thank you, sir. Second. <laughs> Sammy Kimball, I'll second. Okay, any further discussion? Hearing none, call for the vote if you would, please, sir. George Gard P, yes. Carol Chapman? Yes. Cynthia Butler. Yes. Donna Hare. I hope yes. Jean Evans. Yes. Sammy Kimball. Yes. All right. Motion carries. Uh, thank you, Carol, and your team for this. And um, as I mentioned, um, I'm very glad to that we were, you all were able to do this, and um, it's going to be a big help as we go forward. Um, so with that, uh, we have, um, the next item here is to set the next meeting date and council, what is your pleasure on that? I believe it's already been set for the Amy. It's already been set. It, on the 21st. Yeah, 21st. Okay, yeah, I see that. Okay, I think we're set then. Um, 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 we do have a, uh, uh, just a friendly reminder, everyone, we do have a, a business council call at two today. So I hope, I'm hoping we can uh, uh, have this internal discussion on these uh, four issues that we had flagged for discussion. Um, <clears throat> with that, however, um, I think we're ready to adjourn. So I'm looking for a motion to adjourn, please. I'll make that motion, Sammy Kimball. Thank you, Sammy, I'll sir, second. I'll second. Thank you, Carol. Uh, all right, uh, call for the vote if you would, please, sir. George Gard, P.S., Carol Chapman? Yes. Cynthia Butler? Yes. Donna Hare? I'll help, yes. Gene Evans? Yes. Sammy Kimball. Yes. Okay. Well, um, we are adjourned. Everyone have a great week. 1220. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, guys.